Hey everybody, it's your boy Eddie Ed. We're going to start off with week six. It's on week five right now because I'm predicting Green Bay today. Las Vegas has a small chance of covering this. Of course, you know I don't want them to cover. I got a, two big two bets that, that I'm waiting for today on Green Bay. So I'm confident that they should hit. Um, that's what I'm going with. But let's see how it goes. I predicted my other cards good, so let's see what happens. This lineup. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. So we got. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to go to week six. Okay. Kansas City's just on fire the way they've been playing lately. Ten and a half at home is a hard cover. Anything above a touchdown is always hard in the NFL. But Denver looks been looking a little bit better. I saw their last game. I feel that this is a coin flip on the covering part. But winning, I feel Kansas City is going to win for sure. I just love what I'm seeing from Kansas City. I think, I think they should cover this with no problem. But the first game is always there to screw you over. You saw the Buffalo Bills. Um, that was the first game up against Jacksonville, and Jacksonville just killed them. Um, now, after it played, I do realize Vegas knew what they were talking about because why would Buffalo Bills be a minus five at home after they just blew out Miami Dolphins? I want you to know this. It doesn't matter who's playing or who whatever. The story is in the, is in the point spread. I mean, just think about it, guys. You guys that are NFL fans that know this sport, the Bills just destroyed one of the best teams in the NFL, which is the Miami Dolphins. Bills proved it. I went big on the Bills. And even though I didn't like the point spread, I didn't know why it was five and a half, I felt you always got to go with the better team. And honestly, that five and a half was a dead giveaway. Of course, after it played, you look at the number and you're like, God damn it. It said it right there. It was just too good to be true. When the point spread is too good to be true, be careful. Now, you see, this point spread is not too good to be true. Ten and a half is not easy to hit. So I kind of like Kansas City State on this. Baltimore and Tennessee, they're both playing good football. I think Baltimore, three and a half with the hook. Yeah. There's something about a game with a hook, especially on the road. I read point spread, guys, and I guarantee you right now, Baltimore is going to win this against Tennessee. And Tennessee is not a bad team at home, but Baltimore is definitely going to win this one. Miami with 14. Are they going to keep covering these big point spreads? I know they're going to win. Guarantee they're going to win. Carolina has not been looking good with Bryce Young. Uh, I think Miami's going to put it on them. I really do. I got to take Miami. I feel they cover at 85%. That's how good I feel about Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins is just a complete team. I, I'll take the 14 on this. Jags and the Colts. Jags. Ugh. I'm not a person that likes to jump on the bandwagon right away when a team does good. But Jacksonville has been looking really good lately. Well, in the last game, looked really good. Colts look decent. I love the over on this. I say guaranteed. They both don't got good defenses. I, I'm going with the over. My guaranteed bet is the over. But Jacksonville's at home. I feel got the momentum. I'm going with Jacksonville. Minnesota's just playing like garbage. Honestly, I don't, I don't care what you guys say. They're just playing like shit. That three shows no confidence. Chicago just put an ass whooping this week. I think they're going to ride that momentum, especially being at home. I'm jumping all over Chicago Bears. Saints and Houston. I got to go with Saints. Saints, I think, finally got it together. Um, they're, they're shooting good with no problem. Their offense and their defense is there. Houston looks shaky. I really was going big time on Houston. And I think they did cover because they were the underdogs. Let me let me double check this real quick. But look how Houston um, out for the for the first six game suspension. Jake Heiner. 
They just killed New England, 34 zip. And Houston didn't look that good against Atlanta. But what I saw him do against Pitt, I told myself, you know what? I got to ride. I got to ride Houston. And I took it and I won. Look at that. There were two and a half point underdogs and I teased it. So you see the underdog line? So Houston did win. Um, and they were winning throughout the whole game. So I, my prediction was good on Houston. But look who's playing the better football. I, I'm, I'm going with New Orleans. Honestly, I'm going with New Orleans on this one. A minus one. Yeah, I'm going with New Orleans. San Fran is just a monster, guys. I, I don't care who they're playing. Um, they, they're just unbeatable right now. Cleveland Browns is okay, but I'm going with San Fran big time. This is a guaranteed lock. Cincinnati's been looking good. They came back, looked good. Two and a half against Seattle. I'd rather pass this one up. This is a coin flip. I, I like Seattle. I like what they're doing. Cincinnati just came off that win. Two and a half, not showing no confidence with that. I'll probably say Seattle, honestly. Seattle's just too good of a team. And I, I think I think they'll they'll sack Joe Boris all over the place. Um, I don't like this game. Just remember what I'm telling you. I don't like it. I'd rather stay away from it. But I, I get a feeling Seattle's going to cover this one. Point spread don't look too good. Washington and Atlanta. Oof. I don't like either team right now. I don't. I don't think either team is playing solid right now. That that's for me. That's actually a hard bet. Let me let me let me see if I can see something there. Give me a second. Atlanta got no injuries against Chicago. They played a good game against Philly. Got destroyed by Buffalo. They're good at them. Then Atlanta barely beat Houston. Lost to Jacksonville. Lost to Detroit. Well, you know they're supposed to lose to Detroit. Uh, I don't like it, but I'm going to have to go with Washington, honestly. I don't like how they play in the last game either, but I think overall they're the better team. I'm, I'm going with Washington. Raiders against the Wing. The Wing looks like they can't even play. Now we know Belichick is not even a good coach anymore. Everybody's been saying it. The reason they won so many championships is because of damn Tom Brady. Belichick, he's just overrated. So I'm giving up on New England. I think they're garbage this year. And I can't believe I would ever say that about New England Patriots. But they're garbage. I don't like Las Vegas Raiders. But at home, I'll give them the momentum. I'll give them for the win. Feel almost guaranteed on that. Rams in Arizona. Rams got embarrassed this weekend. I mean, it was really ugly. Minus six shows confidence. Arizona's okay. They're decent. Uh, probably going to have to go with the Rams, honestly. At home, when, when it's a tough decision, it's better just going with the home team. I think, I think the Rams have to play better. I'll, I'll go with the Rams on this one. You know I'm picking the Detroit Lions. Why is it a minus three? I don't know. But Detroit just looks unstoppable right now. Minus three is solid at home. Yeah, I'm not going to let that point spread scare me. That's a scary point spread because they should be favored by more. But at the end of the day, you got to go with the better team. And Detroit is, is solid all around. I like what I've been seeing from the Jets. But Philly is just the most dominant team. I, I, st I still got to go with Philly. They've been covering all their games on the road. I don't see why this game should be any different. I know Jets has been looking okay, but I got to go with Philly and, and an easy cover. I think Philly will, will destroy the Jets. Buffalo Bills, they got embarrassed this weekend. They're going to have to take it out on somebody. Who better than the Giants? The Giants is just freaking, I don't even know why they even play. <laughs> they, they should eliminate the Giants. That's how bad they are. Yeah, I'll take the Bills and covering the points. <coughs> and this is a very hard game. 
Dallas just got embarrassed. Chargers is decent. <coughs> oh man. I actually do like the Cowboys. I you saw me you saw me in my bet. I'm waiting on um I had San Fran. I took him easily. I knew San Fran was gonna beat Dallas. Uh, I don't like what I'm seeing from Dallas, but at the end of the day, I gotta go with Dallas. I think Dallas is a better team. Um, the Chargers is good though. This is a very hard game. If anything, I'll leave this one for the opposite. If you guys come up with a lineup, reverse this bet. All right, guys. Good luck.